another one. This is Oba Papa Tio from Oba Papa Tio TV. We are here today because September is Life Insurance Awareness Month, and I'm here with our dear sister Rebecca to explain to us what life insurance is about. There's a program also coming up, so we can know more about what the program is about. Sister yes, Rebecca, thank you so much for joining us on uh, Oba Papa Tio TV. How are you doing? I am blessed and highly favored. Great. Uh, you're always looking good, by the Thank way. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I copy from you. You're always <laughs> outstanding, and I love the way you, you know, keep yourself like I was telling you when you got in. So that is great. I'm trying. Thank you so much. We thank God. Well, we know September. I, I didn't know. You just let me find out that yes. September is Life Insurance Awareness Month. Yes. What is Life Insurance Awareness Month? So thank you very much for the question. Life Insurance Awareness Month is a month that the entire USA, the government has set apart for people to observe life insurance, to look into what they have and what they don't have. If they don't have it, then we can help them. But it's a day to sell, a month to celebrate, a month to look, take a step back and look into it and say, okay, do I have life insurance? And if you do, is it enough? And if it's not enough, what do I need to do? So that is why we have the representative. We have people on the ground sharing with you, and they can also go to the website, which is www.getcodeid.com website. They can also apply for the life insurance. We can help them over there. Okay, Mr. Baker, let me come to you here. Um, I have other insurance. I have health insurance. Why is it so much important for me to have life insurance? That is a very good question. It's very important for you to have life insurance because, number one, Life insurance, most people think that, uh, well, I have health insurance. Health insurance deals with your health. Okay. But even at that, there's, it gets, there's a certain point that the government or your insurance doesn't cover some of the expenses. But life insurance has been designed in a way that you can use it as a, also a living benefit. So when you have a health insurance, it's taking care of your health. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't take care of all the expenses. So with the life insurance, the way it has been designed, is designed in a such a way that you can use it also to pay some of the expenses. Okay. Yes, so everybody needs it, life insurance. I know we have some assumption that, uh, okay, why do I have to get life insurance for me to die for somebody else to enjoy? Can you explain that? Yes, yeah, very well said because it's a lot. I hear that a lot mm -hmm. when I go to clients' house or talking to people. They say, oh, no, you know what? I don't need life insurance. If I die and my family don't bury me, they should leave my cover, right? right? No. So this is something that, and I don't blame them. Why, why am I saying that? Most people watching TV, hearing this one, kill this one mm -hmm. because they have a lot mm -hmm. of amount of life insurance. Right. And that is why they kill their spouse or mm -hmm. they did something you know, fishy to get the life insurance money. No, that's not how it is. Now, life insurance is such a, it's designed in such a way that even when the debt claims, they want to make sure that the, the intention, so it's not everybody that will even qualify for life insurance. Okay. But life insurance is not that when you die. And it's also not that when you do it, your partner will kill you. Mm -hmm. No, they cannot. This time, the way technology and things are done, nobody can do that to anyone. But we want people to have a mindset that you have a children, you have a loved one you care about. Mm -hmm. So if I love you as my spouse, why don't I want you to be happy even if I'm not there? Or if I'm sick, I'm, I'm disability or incapacitated, I can't make a right decision. I don't want you to suffer. Can you imagine if you and you and the person couples are there and they don't have life insurance that has a living benefit, right? Mm -hmm. And then the person have a stroke or heart attack or chronic illness or cancer. And then they have to go to the hospital. There's no money. They've liquidate all their 401k retirement and still it's not enough to pay for their bills. They have to sell their house. And that is one of the causes of bankruptcy in America. The number one bankruptcy is chronic illness, terminal illness, and credit card illness. But true life insurance has been designed in such a way that people can use it as a living benefit. So as a couple, having a mindset that when I have life insurance, somebody will kill me and then take that money. Now, this, things, this mindset has changed okay. because of the education that we are bringing out. People are understanding that life insurance is not just about death benefit. Okay. It's about living benefit. Not only that, life insurance can also be a retirement supplement. Okay. So those are some of the things when they attend a workshop, 
we go in depth with them to explain for them to understand that life insurance is not just when I die. And life insurance is not that when I have it, my spouse or somebody will kill me because of the money. When the person does it, uh, sorry for the person because he's not going to get the money. Because before that happened, they do investigation. Mm -hmm. They're going to find out. And they're not going to pay. Exactly. And the beauty part about it is this. When you do life insurance, you design who has to be the beneficiary. And what percentage goes to whoever is exactly. qualified to take Yes. Yeah. So that, that, is, that is how life insurance. So I want to encourage people that have that mindset to change that mindset because you love the person. Mm -hmm. And you remember, like I was sharing with you on the previous one, that mm -hmm. life insurance is designed that if you want to have the right amount of life insurance, you need 10 times of your annual income. Why do you need 10 times? As a spouse or couple, when something happened, not only when the person died, even with a disability, stroke, heart attack, or cancer, it doesn't go just a day or a, a month or a year. Mm -hmm. It takes time, right? Yeah, yeah. So having right amount of life insurance, which is 10 times of your annual income, if you're both couples, is 10 times of both of you, your annual income. Yeah. That is the right amount of life insurance. That is the amount that can also be taking 2% of it to be paying for your medical bills. That is absolutely true, Sister Rebecca, because... We, we understand stuff very, very differently. Yes. But this kind of education is now teaching us more about what life insurance is about. That's right. I, we, we even thought life insurance was just for death. That's right. But now we know that we can even benefit whilst we are alive. Because A accidents lot. do happen, mm -hmm. things happen, and these are some of the insurance that can cover for that when we are not fit to work. Wow. Right, yeah. So now I love what you just said about accident do happen and uh, since you brought that I also want to explain to people to understand one of the reasons why that uh, other people too don't like life insurance is this. Most people go to bank and then they get insurance from the bank. Okay. okay. And most of the banks is their insurance is called accidental insurance. So what it means is that the person have to die true accident and disembowelment. Mm. It means when you die, not just accident, your hand, your head, or your leg has to be cut off. Mm. So when you die by accident and your body, there's no uh, fracture or anything cut off, you, you don't get that time. benefit too. So that's why we're doing this life insurance awareness to explain to people to know that the life insurance that you have, you need to know what kind of life insurance you have. What does it do? What is the benefit? Mm -hmm. Who is the one who should have life insurance? Right. And what is that, the advantage and disadvantages of life insurance? Right. We will teach everything at the workshop. Well, so that's why you need to come to this workshop. And this workshop is on Saturday, September 28th, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. sharp. It's also going to be on Zoom. We'll put the flyer on top of this video so you can watch it. And also in person, you can come over 255 Park Avenue, suit 205 and join them. If you have any question, don't sit home, please. Don't sit home for somebody who don't have any knowledge about insurance right. to lecture you wrongly. Come over. This is a free event. You know, usually when you go to this kind of event, they charge you to even explain certain things to you. But this is free event that our sisters, the team has put together to educate us about. And thank God this month is Life Insurance Awareness Month. Let's come over to listen, put our questions across and dive deep into what life insurance is about. I know there's a lot of questions we would like to know about life insurance. Certain things that are going to be taught over there are terms versus permanent insurance, the five types of life insurance, tax advantages and benefits. If you currently have life insurance, does the coverage, is the coverage enough mm. for you and your family? That's right. So these are some of the things that we are going to um, teachers over there. So please come to the workshop. It's also designed to educate us about the importance of life insurance and its role in protecting families and financial security. So Rick, is there anything you want to add? Because all this are something we need to know. Exactly. Yes. Is there you, one of them that you would like to tell us more about it? Sure. Yes, of course. I will. Uh, what I want to say, you've summarized it and I love it like that because when you summarize it, when they come, they have the index about what they're coming to learn. But one of the things I want people to also understand is that we, when it comes to life insurance, it's very important for everybody. Do not put life insurance as the least of your bucket list. Let life insurance become the top. Okay. 
that life insurance become the top because when you come you're going to learn about all types of life insurance and their functions and how they're going to help you and how life insurance can also be used as a college education for your children savings for your children and how life insurance oh no and then also just to add it to what you just summarized right mm -hmm. um somebody will say you know what with my condition right now i'm sick i'm diagnosed and i have this mm -hmm. and i don't qualify for life insurance we wanted them to know there is life insurance for everyone. Okay. That it doesn't matter your circumstances, it doesn't matter your condition now. Mm -hmm. There is life insurance that can help you. Wow. We have it called final expense, and that is also builds cash value in that one too. I just had a client um, that I did uh, final expense for. He was uh, 85. So the family thought, you know, his, uh, the cutoff is 85 that we insured a person. So the family thought, oh, okay, we just need something for the next two years or three years when the person, but unfortunately the person I've lived for is now 92. <laughs> so the family was like, oh, okay, you know what? We've built something. Can we take the money from the life insurance? I said, why not? Of course. So we just called the company and then they took cash value from the life insurance and they still continue making the payment. So life insurance is very, very important that when you have it, it has a lot of functions that can you know help you. When they come to the workshop, mm -hmm. they will learn more about it. And if they have any questions, they can also go to our website, which is www.getcodeib.com. Please repeat that for me again. www.getcodeib.com right. So the www.getcodeib.com is our website. You can go there and then, you know, you can look for life insurance, uh, investment. We do all kinds of investment. But this month is a life insurance awareness month. Don't leave your family behind. Every family deserves a chance. And when you attend our workshop, you understand better how life insurance works. let me let me end end it with this question i know um like i said our mentality especially the africans let me see because i hear it a lot from the africans that oh when i die and when i get it this person will kill me this person is fine do we do life insurance together with our spouse and family or you can do it separately without letting nobody know about it Thank you very much for your question, which is a great question. Yes, the answer is yes. We have joint life insurance. Okay. We have individual. And we have first to die life insurance or last to die. So that's why I said the type is what we talk about, the five types of life insurance. Okay. So when they come to the workshop, we break it up. Okay. And then also you can, like you said, can you do it without your spouse knowing? I have a lot of spouse um, clients that also, you know, because mostly especially with pair of couples right mm -hmm. their major concern is not about their, their spouse. spouse their concern is about their, their children. children that's true so when they do it they put their children as a beneficiary okay but i also say what about me i'm your <laughs> wife you know i told my husband i say hey you gotta put one million and I, when he did one million i said it's too small i need 2.5 on me because when right now you love me, you make me happy, you spoil me, you spoil me, and you, I, you give me everything that I want. Right. If you are not there, who is going to give me that? You know? That's so question. that's what, yes. Yeah, so that's why you see the people that we are learning from them, from the life insurance that they do. You hear about all the Rockefeller and all those uh, Warren Buffett and all those people. Do they need life insurance? If it's only for death benefit, they don't need it, right? Mm -hmm. So why would they have it? They understand that. Life insurance is also another way to leverage wealth transfer from taxes because it can also give you tax break on that. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much for the answers. September is Life Insurance Awareness Month and our dear sister in the team has put together this workshop that is coming up on September 28th, uh, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. sharp Eastern time. So please come over at 25, 255 Park Avenue, 255 Park Avenue, sealed 205, the second floor. Come over, bring all your questions, all questions, no question. <laughs> Every question is important. Exactly, yeah. yes. Oh, Every yes. question is important. So bring all your questions. And bring and what, let them also bring what they have. If they have life insurance already, okay. of late I've been helping people that have accidental insurance and we are explaining to them because this month, 
We explain, we don't charge, we don't do anything. Oh, that's good. So we will help you and recommend what you have if it is good. Okay. We'll just recommend you to keep it and protect it, cherish it. Okay. Don't get life insurance and shovel it underneath of the closet. Okay. We want them to put it in the right place. Right place. And that falls under if your current coverage is enough. Mm. Come over and check it out if it's enough. Once again, this is Oba Papa Tio with our dear Reverend Sister Rebecca. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Lizzie. And thank you for taking time.